dear friends welcome you all to this international seminar on satyarth prakash and other books authored by maharshi dayanand saraswati in the contemporary <coughs> education and practices today we have with us our chief guest a very prominent politician from suriname dr devan chandrabosh sharman he is the deputy chairperson of the parliament of suriname or we can call him as the upadhyaksh waha ki sansad ke upadhyaksh aap hain and let me inform dr dev sharman is a doctor by profession he is one of the leading doctors in suriname and he started his practice in 1994 and uh, he is a general practitioner but he specially trained in suicide prevention and intervention since 2015 he is in politics and uh, he is the mm -hmm. member of the parliament in suriname since 2015 in 2020 he became the deputy speaker or the deputy chair of the parliament of surina he is a very young and enthusiastic uh, scholar doctor and very prominent person of surinam uh, for your kind information let me inform that i visited surinam twice and i meet dr dev sharman every time and i found him a very a uh, scholarly person and who has lot of knowledge who is spreading the indian <laughs> culture value system in suriname he is associated uh, with the board member of the arya divakar one of the largest uh, arya samaj organization in suriname and he is he is helping in many socially useful activities uh people he is helping people in many socially useful activities he is also involved in different social and seva organizations like foundation swarnapath swayam sevak sangh etc in suriname so uh, we are very happy to see such a great personality with us and uh, i feel <coughs> elated that when i requested him even through chat oh, whatsapp he immediately acceded to my request and uh, told that he is going to uh, inaugural he is going to deliver the inaugural speech so i am very much thankful to this uh, great personality uh, very luminary politician from suriname who is with us and you can see he is uh, he looks very young and energetic and surinam i think is early morning still he could join and i think he would have got up early morning for this uh, 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 conference so i welcome uh, dr dev sharman to although we are far far of countries to this audience uh, the people in this audience are joining from many countries from america from canada from guyana from trinidad from south africa mm -hmm. from mauritius and from india so he is representing the indians of all these countries today and uh, now i would request humbly request dr dev sharman to uh, deliver his inaugural speech thank you dr dev sharman Yes, Daniwat, uh, uh, Professor Ariji, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for the for the introduction. And uh, let me start my uh, my pravachan, my bhashan. Uh, first, I would like uh, to thank uh, Professor Ravi Ariji, is the chair professor of the Maharishi uh, Dayanand Saraswati uh, University in Haryana. and uh, as he mentioned i met him twice when he was in suriname and we had a, a good chat about arya samaj and and uh, vedic dharma and so on so let me start uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen bhaiyo behno jahan bhi aap duniya mein hai jis kone mein aap hi hai suriname aur suriname ke hindu abadi ki or se sadar prem namaste aur ab main shuru karna chahta hu 
At the onset, I appreciate the efforts of Maharishi Dan and Saraswati Chair for organizing this historic event on the Satyar Prakash, another text authored by Maharishi Dayanand in contemporary education and practices. I have no hesitation, ladies and gentlemen, that, uh, to say that Maharishi Dayanand Saraswati was a great leader, a scholar, a thinker, a social reformer of his time. He was the Renaissance Rishi. Some of the political thinkers called him the grandfather of the nation. He was much ahead of his contemporaries. So far, his vision for the future and India and the whole world was concerned. He was a legendary personality in India at first ever after Mahabharata. Mahabharata Yudh ke baad mera vichar mein ye pehla vyakti hai, aisa mahan vyakti jo prithvi pe apna paon rakhe hai samaj sudharne ke liye. Ladies and gentlemen, Maharishi Dayanand's philosophy is very much relevant in the strive toward world, modern world, to say. If these principles and ideas are followed without any prejudice or preconceived notion, we may be able to develop heaven on earth. All of us know that today, the burning issues before the modern world are growing poverty, exploitation of poor and deprived, environmental pollution, communalism, religious bigotry, terrorism, discrimination of human beings based on gender, color, creed, race, region, and religion. Maharishi was a great seer, a Vishwa Guru. He could visualize all the future problems of the modern world in the middle of the 19th century itself and gave an amicable solution to all problems the world was likely to face in the years to come. The solution was given by him in the form of the 10 principles of Arya Samaj, Satyar Prakash, and many other books written in conformity with Vedas. He discarded the various religious sects in the name of Mat Matantar and set into motion a new movement in the name of Arya Samaj, an academic, social, and spiritual agenda to reform and awareness. He established it in 1875 with the medic motive of Krinvanto Vishwam Aryam to make the whole world noble and civilized to purge the modern world of its various ailments and efforts for the coexistence of human beings on the globe, to remove poverty, explo exploitation, communalism, religious bigotry, discrimination of human beings, and to create social, moral, and environmental awareness. Initially, he was not willing to give any name to his movement for the fear of its being branded as a religion or a religious sect, like others in the world. I would like to quote Maharishi Dayanand. They say, oh, swam kahale ki neta angresi mer henge. Our quote is, I have not come to preach any new dogma or religion, to establish a new order, or to be proclaimed a new messiah or pontiff. I have only published before my people the truth of Vedic wisdom, which has been hidden during centuries old of India's subjugation. End of the quote. This is his thought. He is not going to be able to do this. But the society is going to be able to do this. The society is going to be able to do this. Brothers and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to above, Maharishi Dayanand was a revealer of the truth. His magnum opum, the Satyar Prakash, Revealing the true meaning of Vedic philosophy, culture, and tradition is a glaring example of this fact. His main objective of Satyar Prakash was to depict the true face of Hinduism to set an agenda for the reformation of the world religions in the largest interest of humanity so that followers of various sects, not only in India, but on the whole globe, could coexist and friendship and fraternity. Bhaichara aur mitrata ke adhar mein aapas mein ke dil aur hai. 
Let me say, without an iota of hesitation, that Satyar Prakash and other books authored by Maharishi Dayant are the back and light, leading people and religious texts from darkness to light, from irrationality to rationality, from religion to dharma, from next science to science. His aim was the reformation at all levels, individual, social, political, religious, educational, economic, environmental, and moral level. According to him, even the prevalent religions need to be reformed. His book depicts the way of life as envisaged by the Vedas, which prevailed throughout the whole world until about 5,000 years back, when enlightenment and prosperity were the zenith of its glory in India. Ladies and gentlemen, Satyar Prakash and other books authored by Maharishi Dayanand are the storehouse of all true knowledge that was revealed in the Vedas and other scriptures. With only the Satyar Prakash, all Shastras will be deemed read. Itna gyan Satyar Prakash mein hote hai. Vedas and Hinduism cannot be properly understood without understanding Satyar Prakash and other books. Jitna hamare arsh grantha hote hai, usme Satyar Prakash bhi ek hota hai, jisko hume apne jivan mein parna ek jaruri hai, kyunki hamara mark darshak bhi hote hai. In the end, I fervently hope that discussions and deliberations on this seminar would lead in bringing out utility and practicality of Satyar Prakash and other books authored by Swami Dayanand and in mainstream courses of Indian culture and Hinduism. Let me conclude, ladies and gentlemen, wishing you all good luck and grand success in your endeavor. And I also thank Maharishi Dayanand Chair, Maharishi Dayanand University, and especially Professor Ravi Prakash Arya and other organizers of this seminar for giving me the opportunity to share my ideas with all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Maharshi Dayanand Maa Bharat ke baad se Bharat mein utpanna honi wale pahle vyakti hai jinho ne samaj sudhar ki baad ki vidyan ki baad ki ved ki vidyan ki baad ki aap ne bataya ki unki jo vichara dhara thi Maharshi Dayanand ne swam apne vichara dhara ko vyakt kiya ki wo kisi dharm ki kisi mazhab ki sthapna karne ke liye ya koi masiha banne ke liye koi pontip banne ke liye yaha par nahi aaye hai उनका उद्देश्य तो सारी दुनिया के सारे भारतवासियों के जो अंधविश्वास हैं उनको दूर करना है और ये जो सत्यार्थ प्रकाश जो अन्य ग्रंथ हैं जो महर्षि दयानंद ने रचना की विद्वान वक्ता ने बताया कि उनका उद्देश्य भी एक विशेष प्रकाश देना था उस समय समाज को भारत के समाज को एक विशेष दिशा प्रदान करनी थी क्योंकि भारतीय समाज उस समय गुलामी के दौर से गुजर रहा था अंधकार का समय था चारों ओर लोग अंधविश्वास में डूबे डूबे हुए थे शिक्षा कहीं पर थी नहीं तो एक ऐसा सूर्य उस समय भारत में उपजा जो कि पूरे विश्व को एक दिग्ग दर्शन देने के लिए आया तो आपने बहुत ही अच्छा व्याख्यान दिया और ये जो मार्ग दर्शन है महर्षि दयानंद का ये जो मार्ग दर्शन महर्षि दयानंद ने भारत में दिया ये भारत तक ही सीमित नहीं रहा अभी तो इस समय दुनिया के अनेक दोष देशों में 50-60 देशों में यह मार्गदर्शन यह जो मूवमेंट है अपने आप फैल रहा है यद्यपि इसमें आर्य समाज की कोई भूमिका नहीं है परंतु स्वयं व्यक्तिगत रूप से लोग मैं देख रहा हूं जहां भी दुनिया में जाते हैं वो आर्य समाज की महर्षि दयानंद की शिक्षाओं से प्रभावित होते हैं और वहां किसी न किसी प्रकार से कोई आर्य समाज की स्थापना की जाती है तो हमारे मध्य विद्वान वक्ता जो कि विशेष जो राजनीति राजनीतिज्ञ हैं सूरी नाम के वहां की संसद के जो उपाध्यक्ष हैं डॉक्टर देव शर्मन जो कि वैसे पेशे से डॉक्टर हैं परंतु इस समय राजनीति में सूरी नाम की राजनीति में एक बहुत बड़ा नाम जिनका है आप हमारे मध्य आए हम सब लोग मैं सब लोगों की तरफ से विशेषकर 
महर्षि दयानंद सरस्वती चेयर की ओर से महर्षि दयानंद विश्वविद्यालय की ओर से आपका अत्यधिक धन्यवाद करता हूं और आभार व्यक्त करता हूं कि आपने अपना जो बहुमूल्य समय था उससे समय निकाला और इस जो सेमिनार है ये जो अंतरराष्ट्रीय सेमिनार का हमने आयोजन किया है इसका मार्ग प्रशस्त करने के लिए आपने अपनी सहमति जताई